What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another episode, season 2 episode 4 of Peaky Blinders is here and we're gonna just jump into this man, this is one of those series that I'm watching that I'm really really enjoying as you guys can tell, um, right now I don't know what, um, it's n not as confusing as it was when I just started the series, cause certain storylines have um have also developed so in the last the last episode we got to meet polly's son understand the type of person he is um so moving forward i'm gonna be expecting a lot more from him um learning the ropes um i'm not sh polly doesn't like the idea of him being a peaky blinder but um i think eventually he's going to be an essential part in the gang um, because he's trying to prove to Tommy, like, stop treating me like a kid. Um, I want to be a part of this. Um, but I do understand, um, from Polly's point of view, why she doesn't want her son to be involved with this. Because he could have easily died. As I said in my last review, if it was me writing the story, I would have let him die. I would have let him die in that situation. It would have been devastating and unexpected and totally surprised to the fans um um but i can understand why the writer chose to do what he did you know coming so close to death um accepting it forcing him to lie to his mom of course so i think he will also be a valuable um cast member you know what i'm saying a valuable member to the family add to the family going forward so i'm looking forward to things getting better and oh my god solomon's jesus peace what a character man what a character that tom hardy is playing man he, he got everything down the i mean the viciousness of it all and then tell <laughs> all these bakers right so many bakers um sabini went after them at the um at the auction and was they wasn't successful there was not um, Sabina is a paranoid character. Um, he's very paranoid. He always thinks that the cops are trying to get him, um, which is not the case. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dude, he's just paranoid for, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? The cops are working with him willingly because I'm pretty sure he's paying them. So it's the same thing with, with Tommy doesn't, is not paranoid like that. He knows what he knows and understands what he understands about the cops like i'm paying them for this and that and whatever it was so sad to see that kid um get slaughtered in jail for taking the fall he was completely innocent completely innocent kid man had to die because um freaking what's his name thought he was going to talk or whatever thought he was um sabina sabini thought he was um actual an actual part of tommy's crew you know what i'm saying like one of his actual bookkeepers but he's not and they chose and they they killed him and he he was just a fall guy he was just basically that to keep the, the cops quotas going so that you know it seems like they're doing something against the business really you know what i mean um and quotas is a very real thing as i've talked about it before um as i said as long as cops are as long as they're part of the force they're not going to say they are quotas because because it does make them look bad it does make the city look bad if they admit to it but if you talk to retired cops they will tell you yeah there's quotas <laughs> you know so it's it's a crazy thing in real life so it, so i do understand the whole quotas thing in the show of them having to uh, oh we got to do this because if we don't do it then it's you know what i'm saying like it does seem like we're not doing our job and we're all getting paid you know what i'm saying so it's just for show but the kid got killed for it so um tommy heard about it and he decided to take care of their fat take care of his family so that's pretty cool it's you know that doesn't bring him back but pretty much the best the best they can do you know at this point they didn't mean to get the kill the 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 guy killed but 
that's just how things rumble sometimes. So this new character, this girl, I'm interested to see where, she, what is her relationship, her being a horse trainer, or you, you know what I'm saying, um, for the races and stuff, how she's going to play into things later. So thank you guys for listening, man. We're going to jump into this reaction right now, episode four of season two. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that link in the description. I will see you guys back here for the review. All right, what's going on, guys? I am back for the review, season two, episode four, and the surprise at the end. Um, Grace seems like Grace is coming back. I don't know in what capacity, but I don't know if she's married or she's just with some other dude. But Tommy decided to call her. Why? Maybe it's because he feels guilty for being with another woman. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just happy to see her. Because she's like, she's, and she looks even better than she looked in season one. Okay, so you you guys already know that I'm a huge Grace fan. I think um, her character was was very, very um, essential to season one. Um, so I didn't want her to end up being a throwaway character. Which, after a while, I started thinking because we're past halfway through the season and she didn't show up so i thought you know she was just going to be a reference going forward but here she is in episode four right after the hot the halfway mark we're here back with grace um i love me some grace don't hate just appreciate yes <laughs> um yeah um so in this episode we got to see the development between um so we know now that major campbell and the other dudes that are spies, whatever they're calling themselves, they're working together. So Tommy has to take his order from them. But that other dude that's with them, Tommy checked him out. He's a spy. Um, he's a spy, but they didn't know. So they have to take care of him. That's why Tommy didn't want to take the mission in there because that dude is reporting on them and what they what they're going on with. So, um. He hasn't killed the dude yet. He went to check out a dude, check out a dude he's supposed to be killed, um, checking out the response time of the cops that are watching him. So that's cool. Um, Arthur, still a coke fiend, still on, still on his bullshit over there in London. They took over another place. And, you know, Tommy's asking him about this stuff because he doesn't want his addiction to become a problem whereas in and it turns around and hurt the business right so that's pretty um i didn't even know they were running coke like i didn't know that they were running coke like that's the first time i heard him talk about it like you know what i'm saying so i didn't know that th that was a part of it now they're going to run liquor so um um to the people who are experiencing um, prohibition and stuff like that, in effect, sending them the real shit um, from over there where they have in Birmingham. So that's good. That's also to see what's going to happen to the success of that. Um, um, biggest highlight to this episode, in my opinion, is Michael's growth. So Michael, Polly's son, right? Him making his case to get to get the job and of course tommy trying to do the reverse psychology thing with with polly to get her okay because he, he wants michael to be a part of the business he just don't want to do it behind polly's back respectably but still you know he's gonna make it seem like you know there's somebody else and all this other stuff i picked up on that pretty quickly um he just don't want to do it because in, in in no matter what happens he still has that utmost respect for Polly because Polly is the one that you know watches them watches over them make sure that they're okay is there aren't so they have that utmost respect she's the glue to the family she's the one that keeps them together pretty much keep in in certain uncertain terms keeps them alive you know what I'm saying keeps them um grounded you know what I'm saying um so 
I definitely dig her character a lot. You guys know I have a crush on Aunt Polly. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so we got um the situation between Solomon's and and um uh, and Sabini is a very interesting one because I don't know I don't as I said during the episode I don't think that Solomon's is gonna betray Tommy. I don't believe that because whatever this parlay was about it was about um whatever it is about and whatever conclusion they came to i just don't see solomon's betraying tommy um i'm pretty sure tommy knows about that meeting there's no way that meeting went down and he doesn't know about it his men are everywhere so sabini is just pissed off it's some half-ass apology about <laughs> about um oh i'm sorry about the jew thing you know what i'm saying like you know that apology is not sincere like if solomon's falls for that i, I don't see that happening so definitely definitely looking forward to the other things that are going to happen um this carlton lady um she's interesting interesting lady she's going to train the horse i mean from the first time they were in the bar talking tommy picked up on the fact that she wanted to have sex with him like i saw it in her eyes too it was obvious you know what i'm saying like it was obvious that's why he asked the question you know what i'm saying and then she finally let her guard down at the house at I don't know if Tommy just stopped there to get some booty, but he ended up getting some booty. But I'm interested to see where that relationship goes. I think, in my opinion, I think he's feeling guilty for sleeping with her. That's why he decided to call Grace. Um, so that was pretty... Um, I don't know how that's going to go down. The situation with the with the, um, with um, with Michael and his friend in the bar would have called him a nigger and stuff like that and it's like dude that that bartender was so late with that situation like he waited until they got got into the fight and everything to say hey bro this is Polly's son like stop your bullshit and that's why now you don't have a pub hey <laughs> so you you took way too long to say that shit and now you don't have a pub i don't even know why he waited until the end of the fight to say some shit like so stupid anyways um so yeah man that was great that was awesome i i digged everything about it um about this episode two more episodes to go for this season um so this this show you know and you guys said it's gonna get better so i'm looking forward to it so thank you guys for tuning in once again man thank you guys for coming over wherever you watch this whether it be on a google drive bit shoot wherever thank you guys for coming over and watching this with me it's it's been a good ride so far thank you guys for watching as always remember to subscribe leave a like on this video and also leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you thought of this episode and i will see you guys later it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace